We are going to uh, show an example of surface convexation reaction today. Um, this is somewhat similar to one of the previous lessons on aqueous convexation, but the difference is really now we have solid phase and there's complexation, complexities that are being formed between aqueous species and the species on solid phase. So what I have here is example 3.1. You also have that in the online material. So this is an example, if we think about a system, that you have a well-mixed, again, a batch reactor, right? So well-mixed meaning um, all the concentration in the water phase will remain the same. Uh, it, it's uniform, so we don't really solve for like um, concentration difference in different parts of the batch reactor. Now in this system, we have eline grains, which is um, a very common type of clay. And then we have the water that has this chromium 6 on it. And we know that this species will absorb or surface complexes with um, species on elite. So what we have here is these grains and then these water, but also there's some um, background species like sodium chloride that providing some salinity. And elite itself will be slowly dissolving out. So there are some other species, for example, magnesium, uh, silica, we'll talk about that later. So in order for sulfur system, we think about this system again, uh, surface complexation uh, is usually considered also as very fast reactions, similar to aqueous complexation. So we can usually think about the superdynamics of these reactions instead of kinetics of these reactions. So let's just go over the, the chemistry of the system. So first of all, we have these reactions, right? And you, we think about this. There's both reactions happen in uh, water phase and also at the interface of water and solid. So in the water phase, we actually will simplify the system to only include, for example, the water uh, association, dissociation to become hydrogen ion and hydroxide. This is a reaction that must be there. But also we include the chromium related reactions so it can, um, chromium can, chromium six can have three different forms, right? You have H2CrO4 can become H plus and then this species. And this can further dissociate um, to have hydrogen ion and this chromium O4 in the two minus form. So in the water phase, we are actually, there could be a lot of other reaction happening, but for, uh, for, the, uh, for simplicity, we would only include these three. So that's for the water phase reactions. Um, and also, we are, so at the water and solid interface, we're really talking about at the water and elite interfaces, we have these um, solid phase, uh, solid species, like uh, surface species, right? So this, uh, if you look at the form, we are kind of using this to represent the solid surface. And then you have the SiOH as a functional group on the solid surface. So this um, surface species can, uh, react with hydrogen ion to form this, and also dissociate hydrogen come out, uh, hydrogen ion coming out to become this. But also, there's, for example, when there's sodium in the um, water and chromium in the water, they can also form these sulfate complexes. So you probably notice that in the different reaction here, these reactions, we write, for example, the same type of ma uh, um, laws of mass action like in aqueous complexation. So we have this um, activity of hydrogen ion, activity OH minus is timed together equal to Kw. And similar for chromium um, A1, A2, right? So I'm, I'm not writing everything out because this is all in similar form. You write activity of um, species in the right um, side of the, of the reaction divided by activity of um, uh, species in the left uh, side of the uh, reaction. So these are, all these k's are constants. So again, we have these three reactions, but also then we have four, five, six, seven. Um, so th we have three aqueous species, aqueous phase reactions, and another four 
um, reactions that occur at the water and solid interface. And each of them, you can have these expression of um, laws of mass action, which I'm not detailing out. But also, as I mentioned, is that Eli itself was dissolving us slowly. So uh, in crunch flow, we actually also have this reaction in the background, except that it, it occurs so slowly, it doesn't uh, change much of the chemistry of the system. Um, but when we set up the crunch flow, um, the input file, we do need to have these reactions, uh, these uh, chemical species there, that is actually part of the elite, but it's not really explicitly talked about in this aqueous phase. So um, these are the chemical kind of components of elite that we have to we have to put these there as um, primary species. Now, if we think about this sort of system, so we have this many reactions. And we think about how many different chemical species we have. If we just list them out, you have H, um, of, of course, hydrogen ion, OH minus, and then you have three chromium related species, which with different um, hydrogen ion there, CrO4, 2 minus. And then you have these solid. We also need to solve the concentration for the solid species as well, right? So you have these SiOH2 plus, SiOH itself, SiO minus, and then this form complexity to have SiONA or SiO, and then you also have these um, OH with H2CrO4, right? So these are the five possible or potential uh, surface complexes that can be formed. Now, on top of that, you also have, for example, sodium chloride, and then the chemical composition of these alloys, right? So you have Mg2, potassium, aluminum, SiO2, aqueous. Okay, so let's count. We need to solve for all these different species, right? So let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you have another six. So in total, we have 16 species, including all the um, possible aqueous species and solid species, right? Or surface species. So we have 16 species. That means we are going to solve for 16 unknowns. And we already have um, 16 unknowns because we have 16 species. Um, now we already know we have seven different relationships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So these are the, the, the reaction we specify and we know um, every time we specify one reaction, there's an algebraic relationship related to that. So we have 16 minus seven equal to nine, right? So we have 16 unknown, seven, we know the relationship, meaning the concentration are, or activity are um, dependent on each other, this relationship. That would mean we need to specify nine additional conditions for completely solving this um, reaction. So what we can do here is, for example, a lot of time we know pH, right? So use these conditions should be already given to you. And uh, what do we have, for example, typically, let's say, we know pH, then we should know the uh, activity of hydrogen ion, um, or we know the, the, the question should give you the total concentration of chromium, 6. And this should be equal to, for example, concentration of CrO4, plus concentration of HCrO4 minus plus concentration of H2CrO4 
equals, right? And this together should be equal to whatever constant they give to you, which um, I'm not writing us. And you also have should know it should also give you concentration of sodium, give you concentration of chloride, and give you concentration of potassium, potassium um, aluminum, magnesium, and SiO2, AQ. Another condition it should give you is also um, how much total site you have. So this will be something like, so the total site um, on, the, on the solid surface should be the concentration of all these five potential species adding together, right? So you can think about this as total sites, C sites. And this will be adding all the surface complex species. For example, SiOH2 plus plus C SiOH plus C S I O minus and then the C S I O sodium plus C S I O H H two C R O four. Right. So these are the five different surface complexes that can be formed, and this should be equal to a. Uh, constant um, total number of uh, total concentration of sites in the, in the water uh, in the on the air like grain and the total co um, concentration of sites should be equals to for example how much uh, air like grain you have how many uh, grams and also the site density time the size the site density time the surface area so these should be conditions that you should you should have so if we look at this you have uh, seven and then eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is a closed form, right? You, you have all these, you have 16 unknown, uh, you have 16 relationships to, uh, you have seven relationships, but you also know nine conditions that specify the system that um, you can solve for the whole system. Now what you will end up with is a concentration of each species, um, both aqueous and solid, um, at, uh, at equilibrium, because the system reaches equilibrium very really quickly. So essentially you have seven relationships. And then nine conditions to, to complete solve the concentration of all species involved in the system.